Hello, Paul here from EMD Automotive at Caring Bar. The Porsche Cayenne Turbo here, Mark, Mark II body, 4.8 liter. This one here. I uh, came in, the customer was saying, was, uh, we had a chat, I had a chat with the customer in the morning. He said to me, there's a whining noise from the engine and the car does not perform properly under acceleration, meaning losing power, intermittent. So I've done some checks on top, but I'll show you the bottom one. The most obvious, oh, let me put the light on. Yeah, that's better. Uh, I've looked at the car, the most obvious uh, uh, leak from this car here. Problem is I can see, if you can look up here, see that big pulley there? See that big pulley there with the actual, uh, it's a bit brown on the nose at the front? That's the actual tandem pump. That does the actual power steering and the PDCC system for the car. So Porsche Dynamic chassis Control, meaning you've got this active sway bar at the front here. If you look at the active sway bar, it's leaking, it's broken inside here. There's not much I can do to fix it. The only way to do it is get a brand new one and fit it to the car. And I can tell that this someone has been working on this car before. Because nothing is tight. See that? Most people try to move that bracket out of the way so you can do the the oil pump. So the oil oil filter here. But this thing is just flapping around like that. Look at that. Not sure who worked on the car before, but that's what you got now. So this is the PDCC. It's called an active sway bar, so when you turn left, it's actually tend to move the right down. If you turn left, Turn right, it tend to move the left down. It's actually to body control to stop the sideway movement of the car. That also, it's always nice and flat. Okay, so we need a brand new one of those first. Um, I have to say that's why the pumps are making a whining noise because you got air in the system and air will create a whining noise. Plus, I have to change the oil as well. Um, oil change for the actual PDC system, uh, sorry, the power steering system as well. All right, moving away from this, so again, I'll close up so you can see it's leaking from in there. So a brand new one is needed to be done to get the job done properly. All right, moving from there, we'll go to the back here. Let's have a look. I'm trying to show you the undercarriage of the car slowly so you can see. Uh, if you look up there, See there, there's a bit of an oil leak there, let me zoom in. There's a bit of oil leak there from the cam cover gasket. Uh, you can see it more on the side here. Let's see, it's bear with me because it's really hard to use my phone. See the cam cover gasket there, there's a line of oil, it's starting to leak as well, it's just old age. There's a cam cover gasket there, come back here. Uh, if you go up here, you can see it more. Ah, oh, sorry. Actually, I do it from the top, much easier. But if you look through here, see that? That's your oil pump, vacuum, vacuum pump, sorry. Not oil pump. That's your vacuum pump for the brake booster. So that one's leaking oil as well, pretty bad. Leaking down to here, showing up on the bottom of the gearbox. Uh, but it's not, the rear main seal is not leaking, but it's the actual cam cover and the actual oil pump. <laughs> sorry. The actual uh, vacuum pump. All right, let's move to the back here, so I can see that somebody have changed the actual center bearing. I mean the drive, the tail shaft. That's good. Um, I'm gonna advise this customer to change the rear diff oil, transfer case oil. This one here, transfer case oil. Gearbox oil because and the front diff oil. Front diff oil is just this here. Front diff oil as well is here. Alright. There's a and I'm gonna ask him to change the oil cooler. That's the original oil cooler. They do fail and then when they do when they fail the oil, the water and the actual water and oil mix. So I'm gonna ask him to change that as well. 
Uh, <clears throat> there's a lot of things you can... On this old KN, they're really great cars, really good performance. Uh, but just some few things, you just got to change it. You don't wait until they fail. Uh, I always advise customers to get some of the parts when the car comes in for service. I actually do the service at the same time. I look at the age of the car and I advise advise them of all the stuff that fails to get it done. All right, let me pause it there and I'm going to bring the car down and show you what I found on top. Okay, these are the things I found from the so far, all right, on this car here. So there's a T-piece at the back. It's been repaired. The vacuum pump supply is full of oils and leaking as well. Oil separator on both sides needs to be replaced. Intake manifold must be removed to check the flap at the back and the solenoid. And some of the retainer engine uh, bolts are missing as well. So there's a lot of stuff here to be... Um, I've got to remove the intake manifold to check the... I mean, I, I don't have to tell you to check it. I'm telling you it's probably already full of oil and so diaphragm's already been collapsed anyway. Uh, but if you look here, that's the oil pump that I told you about. That is, I showed you from underneath is leaking oil to the bottom. And look at that. It's full of oil as well. There should be just air, nothing else. It's full of oil. And then oil's coming up from the, from, the, from the bottom to the top and filling up the intake solenoid with oil. All right, if you look through here, see the bottom there? That bottom brass there? There. Someone's repaired that part there. See there? Someone's repaired that part with brass and broken, the clip's broken, has been repaired. I've taken out the fuel, fuel, the fuse pump, the fuse, sorry, the fuses for the, for the actual um, fuel pump. I've done the lap scope, lap scope test on the fuel pump, it's fine. Um, okay, so all these tests I've done, so I'm going to remove all this and do all that. So I'm going to upload the video and then um, talk to the customer and then we'll go from there. All right, I'll probably have to actually do a uh, smoke test as well on this. But that's it, if you want to know where your direct fuel injection High pressure fuel pump is it's that one there. Huh? That one there. Okay. Thanks for watching and please subscribe.